everyone and welcome back to my channel. Myself Dr. Subhi Sahani and you are watching Dr. Subhi Sahani Dental Series and Medical Video. Today we are going to talk about the another important topic of journal pathology which you read in second year of dentistry as well as in MBBS. So without wasting time, let's get started. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please do subscribe to my channel by pressing the button subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. The importance of bell icon is that you can have the notification of my upcoming videos. So begin with the topic. Today's topic of journal pathology is the fate of acute inflammation. As we all know, if the inflammation occur in some tissue for a shorter period of time, then it is known as acute inflammation. But the 5 marks question may come on the topic, what will be the fate of acute inflammation? So, there are two possibilities in acute inflammation. If the etiological factor persists for a longer period of time, then it can lead to further two conditions. One, it result in the discharge of the pus that can lead to the condition of suppuration. And the second condition is the recurrence of the inflammation again and again for a longer period of time and that can result in second condition that is chronic inflammation. Second condition is what? If the etiological factor is removed or we can say the causative agent of the acute inflammation is removed. If this occur then it result in again two conditions. For that the etiological factor removed with the tissue loss or without tissue loss. If it occurs with tissue loss then it result in the healing of the skin with the fibrosis of that particular area. On the other hand, if it occurs without tissue loss, then it will result in further two conditions. One is regeneration and second one is resolution. Now this is the whole scenario regarding the fate of acute inflammation. So now you have to understood the meaning of each and every condition. First of all, begin with the what is resolution. Whenever there is an acute inflammation, it can lead to the cellular changes if they are reversible and the skin or the area tend to change to its normal tissue form over a period of time, then it is known as resolution. For example, in case of lower pneumonia. Second thing is healing. Healing occur when there is the tissue loss in the acute inflammation after the etiological factor has been removed. Here the healing is occur with the help of fibrosis. As you can see whenever you get injured deeply you have the covering over your skin and later on you, you have the new skin over that injured part of your body. So that is known as the healing by fibrosis. If we can talk about the other two conditions which occur when the causative agent is persist for a longer period of time, then as we know it result in two conditions, either the suppuration or the chronic inflammation. Suppuration means the formation of the pus as the presence of the pyogenic bacteria can lead to the formation of the pus because there is the increased neutrophil infiltration. It mix with the bacteria, necrosis tissue, parts of necrosis tissue and can lead to the formation of the pus. The pus is present in a cavity. If it is not removed or discharged, then it is converted into abscess and then later on it get calcified. In case of chronic inflammation, whenever the etiological factor or causative agent is present and it continuously reoccur and causing the acute inflammation in that particular area then later on it occur for a longer period of time 
then it is known as chronic inflammation. So that's all about the fate of acute inflammation. Definitely a 5 marks question may come on this topic in your theory exam. If you still have any query, you can drop me the mail which is shown on your screen. Thank you for watching.